a shout out to my next guest out here. She starred in one of the biggest TV shows on the planet. From the X Files, it is Gillian Anderson. <laughs> We have some Gillian Anderson fans in, I can tell from you. So, Gillian, I was, like so many people, when you announced that you were signing back on to do more X-Files after so long with David Duchovny, I was so excited. Uh, that series is coming to an end next Monday, this coming Monday on Channel 5. Yes. Uh, but why did you decide to do it? Because I know for years they'd asked you to come back, they suggested maybe bringing it back, and you had decided not to. What changed your mind? Well, it wasn't, I guess, until it became um, feasible to do a network show in a short run, six rather than 22. And now that we've come to the end of this series, will you think about doing more? Are you considering doing more? Are they talking about doing more? Uh, they haven't come to us. They, uh, I don't know. It, it, it is, again, all about schedule. David does a show called Aquarius. Yeah. And uh, I've also got The Fall, which I just finished filming, and it's, it's, it's about whether it, it uh, matches up. But you two would be agreeable to do more if it did match up? If it matched up and a few other things were in place. What's, which other things? <laughs> well, you know, we're not getting any younger. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's, it needs to be all the, you know, all the boxes need to yeah. be ticked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which, which boxes need to be ticked? <laughs> <laughs> I need to have sex with every third okay. co-star I work Let's with. Let's do that, then. That can happen. That's easy. <laughs> Tick. OK. Um, but it is joyous for us as fans to see you back on screen, and they've been so much fun. And it's so great to see you back on, on screen with David, cos that chemistry... Is so strong, and it's so weird because I know there was a period where you, 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 I don't know if you fell out is is too strong a word, but there was tension between the two of you for a while. Yeah, wasn't there it? was. No, for a long while, in and out. I mean, we worked, you know, 16, 17 hour days, nine months a year, five and a half days a week. We were just, we were always together, yeah. and it just, you know, things, things. Oh look, there we are. Oh, someone, somewhere, I read you fell out over hair. It was, you know, my... <laughs> it's so stupid <laughs> when. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Where, look, this, this, I can't talk about this without going up, without just laughing and laughing. Well, that's OK. It's just so silly. OK. Well, which is that, you know, OK, so it takes women a lot longer to get ready than it takes men, cos there's, you know, there's a lot of... Hair. It's very damp in Vancouver. And so my hair gets frizzy, so we shoot in the rain all the time. Okay. And then I'm, I'm a drowned rat. So and we have to wait was... around for them to blow dry and everything. And so there's a lot of waiting because of me. Oh, and so David would get tense. Well, it just, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't encourage our, our you know... Your not, friendship, I mean, not your relationship. Yes, you know, I, and I got it, I understood. Well, that shows him in a bad light, if you don't mind Well, no, so. I mean, he said that when I said it, and I didn't mean it. I was just... I don't know what the answer is. It was just that we were, we were too much together. Here's a, here's a thing which uh, might be worth mentioning. This week, of course, it was uh, International Women's Day. It was. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you were someone who uh, I admired greatly because uh, you found out partway through the X-Files that you were being paid substantially less than your male co-star. Well, I, I knew that from the beginning, and there was a reason why, because I was starting from nothing and he had just done a big film. Yeah. But there was a certain point when we were doing the same amount of work and it was time to negotiate, renegotiate. Yeah, and you managed to successfully, I believe. And I did, yeah. yeah. Yeah, You know, we, we got the phone call with what the offer is. We knew what David's offer was this time around, and it was twice as much as my offer was. Even now, when they... You mean the relaunch? Last year. They, oh, my... Wow. Really? That's incredible. Yeah. Why? Yes. I can't even understand why that would happen. I don't know. It was it was silly. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no point. So it's always been that David's team does the negotiating, and then I just say, "I want what he's getting." Yeah, basically. <laughs> so a how he met Sally negotiation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your daughter, yeah, uh, Piper. Yeah. She she now worked on this series of the X Files. Well, you, she, didn't she she was. I got pregnant with her in the first season. 
and had to reveal that to our producers. Oh, look at her. Um, and then they built in my pregnancy in the show. What were they did? No, Scully wasn't, my character Scully wasn't pregnant. They didn't reveal that. But when Scully got abducted by aliens, there was a picture, there was a picture as if my, the aliens had, oh, you mean had filled in, yeah, my remember, belly, but yeah. that was actually Piper inside. Wow, so hold it. How did she feel about that now, knowing the, uh, this beautiful tender moment between mother and daughter? You were saying, no. Aliens did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, um, I, I, you know, it's pretty cool for her now, but she's, um, she's going to college for production design and uh, she got to work on the new season. She got to design... Um, there was an episode we did called The Band-Aid Nose Man, and so those are uh, Band-Aids with alien snot on them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, she also got to design... Uh, co-design one of the monsters. Wow. Yeah? You mentioned The Fall earlier on. What a great show that has been. Thank what do we you. mark? Um, that must be a, a, a pretty tough, a gruelling job, I think, because it's kind of largely <laughs> on you when you're filming that, isn't it? Uh, well, it's split between myself and Jamie, and, and Jamie Dornan's character, who's a serial killer. Well, now, did he have the role in Shades of Grey before you started filming, or did that happen, that change in his life happen after you'd begun on the... After and because of. Right. I mean, when we... Um, I uh, was involved in the casting on that, and we looked at a lot of actors, and there were some fantastic auditions, and Jamie's just was very, very clear that it was... Um, he really stood out and fought very hard for him to get the role. But when I first started doing press before it aired, everybody's first question was, so who's, who's, who's this, this guy, guy that ex-model yeah. guy? And then second season... It, what the first question was, you get to work with Jamie Dornan. How is it working with Christian Black? How Gray? is it working with Christian Well, you know Gray, we yeah. have Christian Black in with us this evening, you know, because yes. Marlon is playing Christian Black in uh, his <laughs> interview. <laughs> hey, uh, Marlon, have you met Christian? Have you met your, your, your Grey namesake? No, I haven't met him yet. OK. But Grey, Grey ain't got nothing on Black. Mm. <laughs> Once you go Black, you never go Grey. <laughs> We'll let Gillian be the judge of that, <laughs> if that's OK. <laughs> uh, she's a tough character, okay. though. She's a very yeah. tough character you play. And, uh, and you're kind of known. I think people... Are they surprised when they meet you and they find out that you're warm and you're fun and you're like... Because you often play these icy, quite cold characters and yeah. you play them very well. I mean, but yes. I mean, people often comment in interviews about the fact that, oh, I laugh. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I can track a joke. I was very impressed and I was amused by it. The Daily Mail printed this story about they, they had a picture of Gillian and they had su a supposed excerpt look at it and described all the surgery <laughs> yeah. they believed you'd had done. Yeah. Okay, and that's not a nice thing to see about yourself. Well, um, I, I don't really give a fuck because I know it's not true, but it's, um, <laughs> but the fact is. And then. Yeah, but the fact is, it's, it's shaming. Yeah, I mean, yeah. let's they're, say that I have shaming. decided to. Yeah, that's my didn't fucking do choice. It to yeah. David Duchovny. No. Of course, that's yeah. the point. Who, of course, yeah. his whole face has He's, been redone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then your Twitter feed, I thought it was very funny. Let's show the Twitter thing. You wrote that when in Isaac. It wasn't so sad, this bollocks would have made my day. <laughs> Which is a brilliant way of dealing with that. Thank I think. you. Uh, now, you're back on stage in... You're going to the States to do Streetcar Named yeah. Desire, is that right? Yeah. Because I didn't see you live here, but I saw you at a cinema. They, that oh, was one of those you? shows they put out. And it was an incredible Thank performance. You. Um, so, uh, w when are you going to New York to start the night? That is, you start rehearsal in April, April 11th. Because we've done it before and we have the same cast, we have a week of rehearsal and then we go into tech and then we're up. Have you ever been uh, on stage in New York, David? I've done comedy in New York, mm. in Greenwich Village and at Caroline's and stuff like that. Yeah, I've done that. Your yeah. brother lives in New York. One of your brothers lives in New York and he's something of a very, very, very micro-celebrity. Well, he's not a celebrity and if we haven't got a picture of this... We I do have a picture do... of oh, it, we picture. do. Well, OK, well, my brother is a cab driver in New York uh, and he is actually not just a cab driver, he is... Uh, they do a charity calendar, uh, the cab drivers, uh -huh. and my brother is Mr <laughs> February. There he is. <laughs> That looks like a sort of merman. Gillian, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's an episode of The X-Files you don't want to get involved in. Gillian, <laughs> uh, it's so lovely to have you on the show. Thank the X-Files has been great seeing you back again. I do hope you get the chance and things come together and you make more, but I'm looking forward to Thank the next you. series of The Fall as well. Gillian Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. OK, coming up after the break, Marlon Wayans will be here and we've got music from Carrie Underwood. Don't go away.